Let's talk about infrared heating panels and why they're the biggest con of this green revolution. I want to dispute a video specifically that was on the Everything Electric show and the Fully Charged show. And I, whilst I think that's a great platform, I think this particular video was really missing any critical scrutiny, any interrogation, and the claims made by the CEO of Herschel Infrared, Paul, Moore, Paul Morey, uh, were virgin on disinformation and potentially dangerous in preventing us moving forward with the most viable solutions to heating our homes during this green revolution. The one time that Robert asked a very pertinent question, Paul Morey, he just shut it down and moved on. He didn't answer the question and just deflected it with uh, some, I don't know, questionable tactics. Anyway, there's a lot of claims in the video. I want to run through a few of those claims. Let me know in the comments exactly what you think of these claims. Claim number one, heat pumps won't work in 90% of our housing stock. We know that that is just untrue, that there's some people who have put figures of 20% of our housing stock are not really suitable for heat pumps. Some people say as little as 10% are not suitable. We know that if the emitters are sized correctly, any house, any property, any building can be heated with heat pumps. And we're seeing around the country now, great massive cathedrals are now being heated with heat pumps. They just have to size the emitters and the pipework correctly. Um, they claim that infrared is more comfortable. I'll come back to this claim and why I don't believe this um, personally, because I have had some experience with infrared heating panels but uh you can see that my forehead is burnt from a bit of sunburn um it's sort of the way that infrared works um <clears throat> and you know I, i'm not saying you're going to get burnt by an infrared heating panel sorry if i shouldn't have even mentioned that um they the comparison they make is is like sitting around a campfire well guess what if you sit around a campfire if you're facing the fire then great the front of you is warm the back of you is freezing. So you turn yourself around like a spit roast and then guess what? Oh, you've got a nice warm back, but now your nose is freezing, your, your hands are freezing unless you're holding them behind you. It, it just isn't a viable way to heat a home. They talk about putting the panels on the ceiling. Yeah, guess what? I tried that also in an office We with a false ceiling. We cable tied up an infrared heating panel um, on you know pop up the false ceiling tiles and cable tie it on the bars because they're quite lightweight and um my feet under the desk were just absolutely frozen because no heat would penetrate through there because of the shading effect if you don't have line of sight you're not getting warmed by infrared they talk about thermal mass loading with infrared uh well i've tried over hours and hours and hours and running infrared panels for 24 hours a day the 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 thermal mass barely loads um, it does, but it just takes forever. And by that point, they are ruinously expensive. And this is why I want to jump on. Some of the figures that they share from their own so-called independent test, which I'd love to see the data of. So please publish it, Herschel, and let me know who independently conducted the test and uh, under what exact conditions, because they, it makes it sound like they probably use the Sulphur Test Center, which is basically a house inside a warehouse with, you know, temperature controlled environment. And there are loads of uh, thermometers absolutely everywhere to try and monitor everything. But they, um, with a 4.7 degree outside temperature, which is the average for a British winter, the heat pump that they were using, it achieved a COP of 1.73 is basically unheard of they say they use the premium heat pump um that's just absolute rubbish i mean the people who really complain about their ruinously expensive heat pump costs they end up having a cop of like 2 to 2.5 so um my own heat pump it's been averaging over 4 and i don't have anything fancy i've got microbore pipe work buffer tank everything's going against me but still it's a lot more efficient than their claim they also compared it they didn't compare it to a gas boiler because they knew that the cost difference would be so far off they also say that even though the heat pump was at a cop of 1.73 it was still a third cheaper than their infrared heating panels that shows you how expensive and how poor they are as a home heating source don't get me wrong, maybe as a little occasional supplementary heat in certain places, an infrared panel can work, a bathroom, mirror, whatever. 
that's fine. But as your primary means of heating your home, it's not a viable solution on the the kind of not just on the economies of it and for how much it costs, but the draw that will be needed on the grid if we all needed to consume that much power. They compared uh, traditional electric convection heaters, which we know, of course, are 100 percent efficient. Nothing's really lost in that transfer of energy from electrical to heat through the re- typically through you know resistive um, means. They say that because uh, because infrared directly heats you, and I don't want to get into the snake oil of the technology, but they say that their panels effectively operate at one hundred and thirteen percent efficiency. We'll f- fine, even if you uh, believe that claim and you're comfortable making the sacrifices. Still, one hundred and thirteen percent compared to a heat pump at four hundred percent, which from my experience, is more comfortable. I've tried in my own home, I tried two types of infrared heaters, the panel ones. I've tried uh, the patio heaters in our conservatory as well. Quick 20 minute in and out to, you know, take the chill off while we were eating in a conservatory. Fine as occasional use, but it's not a primary heat source. Now we have insulated that conservatory. We've put large radiators and we've got an air to water heat system. heat pump system and that is far more comfortable and consistent and the thermal mass is loaded nicely and it isn't ruinously expensive um they talk about um yeah they talk about the thermal mass loading and how infrared panels are better at that than any other form of heating i just don't agree and i haven't experienced that they talk about it resolving mold and damp problems well not at all because most mold and damp problems are behind furniture and it's where there's little to no airflow and you're talking about removing all the convection benefits that traditional heating has so there's going to be no airflow around those mold and damp issues and then in addition to that no heat will actually radiate to those because they're not in line of sight and they're blocked by the furniture so actually their claim of making it better it it will you know the the science is stacked against them i i'm disappointed and shocked that the the video is still up and hasn't had any follow-up or any amendments or anything added to it because the comments are scathing people have ripped that video apart because it's clear to see that the claims made by paul morey paul morey the ceo of herschel infrared are not true um are in some cases a little bit of a gray area and open to interpretation and they're maybe picking or choosing the figures and it's 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 disappointing because it gives a lot of fuel to those people that are um critical of this green transition that we're in it adds to their propaganda and it's an easy target because of the the ridiculous running costs. People can't afford to run their gas boilers. How are they going to afford to run these infrared heating panels? I just don't know. There's so much more I could say. Um, I haven't spoken about this in the past, but I've alluded to it several times. The company that uh, supplied me with 200, 400 and 600 watt test panels, um, they took them back and their customer service was brilliant. Um an engineer that I spoke to told me off the record that this is not uncommon, that people who pay attention to their bills, to their smart meter data, maybe some people who have used smart plugs for infrared panels, they've cottoned on very quickly. They're just a a different form of electrical heating. There is no, there is, okay, there are some marginal benefits in the way that they operate, but ultimately, They are not sustainable as we go through this transition. And I would like to see greater awareness of the downsides because there are a lot of adverts out there of the great benefits, so-called great benefits. But there's very few people who have openly spoke against some of that narrative. And so hopefully in the comments, you can, um, you know, go ahead. Let me know what you think. Is it snake oil? Is there some merit to Herschel and what they're trying to do? I don't know. You let me know. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Do all the YouTube stuff, you know, the stereotype stuff. Like and subscribe. Bye.